There is nobody on the bench that we can see being tended to, so we expect that Locke is okay. Might have just had a sting. Sullivan's going to throw it as far as he can. He's got a couple guys out here. McGee has it. Touchdown! How do you like it? First catch of the night for Chris McGee. Hey, did it practice all week with the flu of four-year starter senior. Sullivan, we thought we were going to overtime because of the kicker. Thomas Weber and his groin pole unable to really get anything going for the Sun Devils all night, but what a play by Danny Sullivan to find Chris McGahey. Uh, and they had more than, more than McGahey open. They had two guys who were wide open. It was like Sullivan's choice. An unbelievable turn of events. Questionable clock management by the Huskies. They punt it back. They get it at the 50-yard line, one play. McGahey makes his first catch of the game. Arguably their big playmaker, and guess what? Took him 59 minutes and 55 seconds, but he made it. And so much emotion on the Arizona State sideline. You see Danny Sullivan, and then you see the other side of the anger and intensity of Nick Holt. And get a flag right now on Arizona State sideline. I don't think Dennis Erickson minds too much. I'll say. <laughs> it's, I'm not even sure Sullivan believes it. Sullivan played a very solid game, just exactly what we talked about at the beginning. 21 to 35, 263 yards. Try for point has not been good. And for all intent, this one's in the books. Well, to say the Huskies got caught off guard would be the understatement of the year. It's only a, a three-man rush. The Huskies should be way back, but there's McGehe running right down the seam, and nobody's on him. There, there he is. Nobody picks him up in the zone. I mean, absolutely nobody picks up McGehe in the zone. Victor Iowa just lets him go right by Danny Sullivan. And you saw Simpson was wide open also. He, he had his choice. He could have thrown it to either guy. One of the most baffling plays I've ever seen. And, and Danny Sullivan can't believe it either. And there's McGay suffered from the flu all week. His first catch of the night. And it was a big one. A remarkable finish to this game. Remarkable. Well, you got the feeling with as strange and, and herky-jerky or haphazard or whatever you want to call the first half, you get the feeling as weird as the first half was that this game was going to come down to to something like that. And there's Nick Holt talking to E.J. Savannah. Just a lot of confusion on, on the Washington sideline and just rejoicing on the A-State sideline. And I, I, I just can't believe what happened. And it's that unsportsmanlike penalty right there was the first penalty of the second half called against Arizona State. Significant, I think. They'll take a timeout right here because that's exactly what Dennis Erickson told Michael Eaves. We just got to cut down on the penalties and we can take care of business. And sure enough, they did. Look at it again. A complete breakdown here. And that's Iowa that lets McGahey by. And Butler just chasing without much of a sense of urgency and just absolute confusion in the secondary of the Huskies. And that could be the defining play of the season for both of these teams. Absolutely. I thought we were going to have overtime for sure. You got Thomas Weber with the injured groin and not going to get a long field goal from the All-American. Jake Locker never got a chance to get back on the field. He's probably not going to get one here because they likely will just dribble this ball down. Well, it's two huge late in the game victories for Washington and two huge late in the game defeats for Washington at Notre Dame. And it seems like what's developing here in Tempe. It's exactly what they do. It takes a big hop. And they will get one playoff. So this will be everybody out for a long one here. Get the pennies in the huddle. I wouldn't expect 
there to be a coverage gap like there was on the last play well, for you, A-State. You I, know, it was such a complete breakdown. There were two guys running wide open down the field. Plus, there was no pressure on Sullivan. <laughs> One of the strangest plays I've ever seen, and we've been calling Pac-10 football for a little while. I just, I, I, the mental breakdown in the Washington secondary is unfathomable. <laughs> So it looks as though the Huskies are going to have one play from the 40-yard line. And the Sun Devils have five players back from the 10-yard line in. Walker will roll away here. Now he steps up, throws it as far as he can. He's not going to get it to the end zone, so it's a new play. Pass is intercepted. The game is over. And Arizona State on a miracle play and a miracle sequence wins the game. Five seconds to go in a game. McGahey, who played about six snaps the entire game, makes the big catch, running wide open down the field. Complete defensive breakdown for the Washington Huskies and the Sun Devils win. You see the relief on Danny Sullivan, who's taken a lot of heat here in Arizona for his play leading up to that point, but what a redemption for him. That was the longest completion of Danny Sullivan's career, and McGahe just didn't look like himself all night until then. Well, let's go down to Michael Eaves. He's with Dennis Erickson. Michael. Yeah, Barry, thanks a lot. Uh, Dennis, I don't know about you, but it seemed like the entire stadium thought when this game was going to overtime, were you surprised at how off guard you caught that Washington defense? Yeah, I don't know what happened. I mean, we just threw it up, and I don't know what the coverage they were in, but he was awfully open, and Danny found him, and, uh, you know, it's a great win for us. They've won a couple like this yeah. to themselves, so, you know, it's about time that we got one of those, and, uh, you know, I thought defensively we hung in there, and we played... Uh, you know, offensively, we moved it again. Couldn't get it in the end zone a couple times, but uh, we're getting better. We're getting better all the time. How about that effort of Danny Sullivan tonight? I know some of the fans have been griping. He hadn't been playing as well as he wanted to or as you wanted to, but for him to be able to make that play down the stretch, you guys to get this win at home. Uh, that's huge. And, and he's played very well. I got a little pressure on him uh, there in the second half, but uh, it was just, uh, and we're, let's face it, we had a little luck, too. <laughs> Quite entertaining show, Coach. We appreciate the time. All right, thank you. All right, Dennis Erickson, Arizona State, Sun Devils, 24-17, to winners over the Huskies, Barry Tompkins, and a wild finish here at Sun Devil Stadium. A crazy finish, and I, I, there's nobody in this stadium, I don't think, expected it, up to and including Dennis Erickson, as he told Mike Leaves, expected it to end the way that it did. A 50-yard touchdown pass, and the Sun Devils win it by seven. We'll come back, put a ribbon on this one after this. 24 to 17 in an unbelievable football game here in Tempe, Arizona. Let's take a look at our Keystone Light. Always smooth moment. Well, there was only one. Play of the game, maybe the play of the year in the Pac-10, Pete. It could very well have been just a miracle finish for Arizona State. We all thought we were going to overtime, but somehow, due to a complete catastrophic breakdown in the Washington secondary, Chris McGahey, first reception of the night, best receiver on Arizona State's team, sick all week with the flu, didn't practice, and Danny Sullivan, much maligned senior, drops back and finds McGahey, and that pretty much ends it for Washington. Wow! That's the word that sums it all up. Here's where we stand in the Pac-10 Conference. Oregon, you mentioned this at the beginning. They're improving. Had a bye week this week, so chance to get themselves ready for next week. They're 3-0 in the conference. USC played outside the conference today, 2-1 in the conference, 5-1 and overall. Oregon State, another one of those teams, always plays well down the stretch, and they are again this year. Arizona got a big come-from-behind win against Stanford today, and now Arizona State, 2-1. and one. They go up to Stanford next week. We'll be there for that one. Washington at 2-2 two and 3-4 two and and on the season, and a heartbreaking loss for them tonight. Final score from here in Sun Devil Stadium once more. Arizona State 24, Washington 17. Join us next Saturday. More college football action. In the Big 12, it'll be Nebraska and Iowa State. And then we'll be up at Stanford for Arizona State and Stanford. That is a wrap for us. For Petros Papadakis and Mike Leaves, I'm Barry Tompkins. You've been watching Pac-10 College Football Saturday, presented by Phillips HD.